how's it going, everybody? I'm uh, going to tr- do a little summary about this week's Flash episode, which had uh, the trickster, uh, Mark Hamill, in it. And actually, every time Mark Hamill spoke, all I could think about was the Joker. I didn't actually think Luke. I didn't think Star Wars. I thought the Joker, because he sounded exactly like the Joker from Batman comics, from the uh, cartoon. Um, but it starts off with the new trickster, somebody that's supposedly imitating him, dropping balloons with little packages in a park with kids and people thinking it's really nice. Uh, The packages fall, big explosions. No one's actually hurt, big explosions. Um, Then Barry and, uh, you know, West you know, go down to the prison to interview uh, the first trickster, Mark Hamill, and find out who it was that was um, impersonating him and trying to take the new mantle of the trickster. Uh, He says, it's not him, it's an imposter, it's not me, Uh, whoever it is, they're doing a really bad, you know, likeness of me, it's not me, it's not fair, pounding on a glass, yelling, screaming. They go down to where the trickster's lair was. They search around, and they go to where a door is, and the door has a little clown face on it with green hair and outlined in a little purple. Looks just like the Joker, except it's the trickster. I guess that was a little, you know, poke at it. Um... Barry vibrates the door, opens up the lock, opens up the door, hears ticking, grabs Joe, runs out, you see the explosion, I'm going to post a few pictures so you can see uh, what it is, runs out, saves him, he's okay, so that was uh, pretty much the first little part of it. Um, I'll be back. That's it. It goes back into uh, Harrison Wells in his past and how he actually, how the, how the reverse Flash became Harrison Wells. Um, I'll cover this real quick. He's there with his wife and uh, sitting on a beach and they're celebrating him creating Star Labs. And in the background is the reverse Flash watching him. And Harrison Wells gets into a car accident. And it's, it appears uh, his wife is knocked unconscious. I think unconscious. I thought maybe she was dead, but no, I don't think so. I think she was, I think she was just unconscious. He, he pull The reverse Flash pulls Harrison out of the car and plugs this thing into his chest and the other one into his and then they start morphing. Skin start changing, energy starts transferring and then the reverse flash looks exactly like Harrison Wells and that's how they just transferred into his body. Now I kind of skipped ahead a little bit because it Went bit by bit, but that's basically how it was. Um, Another thing. There was a party in City Hall where 
both of the tricksters, because the the one that was impersonating Mark Hamill broke him out of jail, and they teamed up. And he said, "You are, you're my son. I'm I'm your father, actually." I'm guessing it was like a, a Star Wars reference with Luke, but City Hall. They were at City Hall. They poisoned the drinks, and then Barry showed up. Actually, the Flash showed up, and they slapped this thing on his wrist. That if he goes underneath 600 miles an hour, it'll blow up. So he talks to Harrison Wells over the speaker, over the little earpiece he has, and Harrison tells him that you have to feel, feel the lightning, feel the wind at your at your face, you know. You know, be the speed, be the speed force. You know, it is you. You know, I want you to run into a wall. He didn't say run through a wall. He said you want to run into a wall. So, I want you to run into a wall and then go through the wall by... He kind of knew exactly what Barry could do. And, of course, you know, spoiler alert, Barry did do it. Went right through. Um, the, and the bomb fell off. Fell off right in the back of a gas truck. Boom. Big explosion. Um, here's a, another little spoiler alert. Um, Barry rescued his dad. And because the tricksters, I kind of forgot to mention that the tricksters had Barry's dad. They kidnapped him. So he rescued him, and then he, he revealed who he was to his dad. And his dad said, oh, you always looked good in red. So, okay, whatever. You can reveal yourself to him. Um, but, then, he, he shows his secret identity to uh to the other guy on the force. To Eddie. Now why would you show you your secret identity to Eddie? So now let's see. Joe knows your secret identity. Cisco knows, Harrison Wells knows, your dad knows, Eddie knows. Um You know what? Captain Cole knows your freaking secret identity. It's called a secret identity for a reason. Keep it secret. The more people that know your secret identity, the more people are going to get hurt by it. You know, some bad guy's going to capture them, whatever, hurt them, whatever. You keep your secret identity a secret. You don't see, you don't see Superman running around and saying, Hey, Lana, I'm Clark Kent. Hey, Lotus, I'm Clark Kent. Hey, Jimmy, here's a, here's a watch. You want to contact him? No, he, he did that. But you know what? You don't tell people your secret identity. You just don't. So, all right. I'm going to post this up there. I, I'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to do the flash and arrow before the Walking Dead stuff starts. I might. So, leave me a comment on this video. Let me know if I should do this. If I will, in the next one I do, I'm going to edit it more and see how it is. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if I like this show. I see. I read the comments so much that I want to watch it. There's certain things I know are wrong with it, and I just I don't like it. You know what? I'll get into that the next time I post one of these videos up about the flash, and you know I can get a whole bunch of comments hating on what I think because I'll sound bad while saying it but you know what maybe I'm a purist maybe I want the flash as what it is I don't think the flash should be dating Wally West's wife that's stupid there's one 
problem with the show right there. You know, there's Linda Park, but you know, but no Wally. Why even have a Linda Park? He just threw it in there. It's like somebody, it's like one of the writers said, hey, Linda Park, she was in the comics, right? Let's put her in the show. No, she wasn't with Barry, she was with Wally. Now, if Wally ever comes into the series, what, is Linda Park gonna come back? I don't know, it's stupid. So, please like, please subscribe, give me a comment, tell me what you think, because I'm just in a little bit of a rush to do this. I didn't know if I should, didn't know if I shouldn't. But if I do next week, I'll make it better. So I'll talk to you later. And I'll add a few more clips. One more clips. I'll add a few more pictures right at the end of this, okay? Happy. Bye.